What do you do if your pool turns cloudy? We visit one pool owner who discovers DIY pool care problems are simple to solve. Organizing the house does not have to be a painful experience. Today, we get with an expert who has the right products that can get your home's outdoor spaces neat and organized. An increasingly global workplace requires more mobility, and people are relocating more frequently. But where should a family live? Today, you'll see how the options to renters are broader than ever. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Designing Spaces' Debbie Marie has moved into her new home and wants to maintain the pool herself. Usually, it's Debbie who visits homeowners and brings along some help, but this time, we're helping her out. Well, we have our first house party coming up and we're gonna do it poolside, but the problem is the water seems a little cloudy. What do I do? Cloudy pool water can be caused by several problems. So Designing Space has brought in Rebecca, new products manager for the Clorox Pool and Spa brand, to show Debbie how she can keep her water clean and clear. Thank you so much for being here. It's of so course. good to have you back. You know, I thought I was doing a good job, but I, I don't know, you look at the pool, obviously I'm not. Well, cloudy water does happen, but don't worry, because we'll be sure to have it cleared up before your pool party. All right, perfect, I knew you'd be able to help me. So the first step, we need to figure out what's causing the problem. And really, it could be three things. It could be improper water balance, which I'm sure it's not, um, an influx of contaminants, or your filter or circulation system. So you said contaminants, though. What would that be? Contaminants can be anything like leaves or dirt, which might have been brought in from rain or wind, um, sunscreen, or even pee, which can be brought in by swimmers. All right. I've been really good with the skimmer, taking out all the leaves and stuff, so that's why I was actually surprised it was cloudy. I've been taking taking care of my pool myself, and I've been doing really well up until now. Debbie really wants to do the right thing and keep her pool looking clear. It's simple to do, but it does involve a little more than the skimmer net. Okay, so once we get the water clear, you're gonna wanna keep it that way, and all yeah. you'll need is the right products to do so. I guess that was my question. I didn't know what to buy. Right, well with the Clorox Pool and Spa Easy123 Pool Care brand system, it's simpler than you think. You still have the Clorox Pool app, right? Absolutely, I actually tested and balanced it before you came over. Okay, perfect. So you dipped your strip into the water up to your elbow and checked it on the app to make sure all your balance ranges were green? Absolutely. Okay, so we can check improper water balance off the list. Okay. So why don't we look into the troubleshooter and see if um, okay. that will help us solve your problem. Okay. So we'll just click through and it's gonna take you through a series of questions to help diagnose your problem. So the first one is, is your water cloudy? Yes. yes, it is. Is it a different color than normal? No. I wouldn't say so either, it looks pretty normal. And then is there any other problem you're having right now? I don't think so. I wouldn't say so either. So we'll say nothing else. We'll click through to the next screen and it's gonna ask a few more questions. Can you see the bottom of your pool? Well, yeah, but it's very cloudy. Yeah, I would agree. It's just a little bit hazy. What about your filter? Have you cleaned it in the last seven days or so? No. Okay. So after you answer all those questions, it's gonna tell you what your problem is, which is cloudy water as we know it. And then the last screen is gonna tell you what your recommendations are. So this is saying that we should probably check the filter and clean it, and then add some natural water clarifier to help get rid of those contaminants. That's it? That seems easy That's enough. it, yeah. So wow. let's go to Walmart. Okay. Oh, perfect. So we're already here. Um, you're gonna need filter cleaner like the troubleshooter recommended, and this just gets sprayed right on. Okay. And then I would recommend the natural clarifier to clean up all that the contaminants that are causing your water to look a little off. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, pool supplies done. Party supplies next. Party supplies. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna check the jets and see if the circulation is pointed in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the jets are going the right way. Okay, so good so, circulation. Yeah, good circulation. Okay. Let's check the skimmer basket. Okay. Oh gosh. Well, sure enough, there's yeah. some leaves. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of here. Okay. 
Okay, so for the filter, we're gonna use filter cleaner. And what this does is it removes all the oily film and any buildup that's gotten on here okay. in the last few months or so. How often do you have to clean your filter? Well, we recommend you rinse your filter just with a hose pretty regularly. Okay. Um, and then you should use a chemical cleaner at least twice per season. Wow, okay, you can see I've kind of neglected this. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> dirty, but this should help take it off. So okay. once I finish spraying it down, we'll just hose it down with a hose, put it back to where it goes, and then I'll show you how to clear your cloudy water. All right, perfect. Okay, so this is the natural water clarifier, and what clarifiers do is they clump all the particles together so they can be easily removed by the filter. And the great thing about natural water clarifier is that it's 100% natural and you actually can't overdose it. Nice, okay. Now how long until I actually see all the cloudiness go away? Well, you're gonna need to run your pump for about at least eight hours okay. and you should start to see results in the next 24. A day? Yeah. Oh, I can live with that. Yeah, so plenty of time to yes. get your pool party. Absolutely. Okay, so once the cloudiness goes away, how do I keep it that way? Well, to keep your pool clean and clear all season long, you just need to follow the easy one, two, three pool care brand system steps and make sure to run your pump at least eight hours a day. Maintain pH between 7.2 to 7.6 and free chlorine one to four parts per million, like you have been. Okay. And then keep doing what you're doing as far as brushing all the leaves and okay. skimming the water. Okay, easy enough. Thank you so much for coming back and helping me and making my pool party a great one. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, anytime. I'm so thankful to have Rebecca here. She really helped me out. I mean, look at my pool. It looks beautiful, just like when we moved in. My pool party is going to be a success. Debbie has discovered that taking care of a pool can be simple, especially with the right tools, like the Clorox Pool app and the Easy123 Pool Care brand system. I have a feeling I won't have to stop by her pool anymore. To learn more about the Clorox Pool and Spa clarifiers and filter aids and the Easy123 Pool Care brand system, visit their website, cloroxpool.com, where you'll also find all kinds of helpful information on do-it-yourself pool care. To see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv. Next on Designing Spaces, we go outside to see how pool toys, garden, and pool supplies can get organized and put in their proper place. We'll transform clutter into order. right around the corner, and you know what that means, outdoor entertaining. So now is the time to get your backyard looking great and organized. To help us do that is Jane with Trinity International, a storage and organization company with products to make our lives easier and less cluttered. Jane, welcome back to Designing Spaces. Glad to be back. Okay, so today we're talking all about the backyard, keeping everything organized. There's many different areas, so where do we start? Yes, well, you've already seen how easy it is to be organized inside the yes. house. So we can do it outside as well, and it's easier than you think. You are going to have pool toys, pool cleaning supplies, barbecue supplies, and you might even have gardening equipment and supplies that you need to store. That's a lot of stuff. It is. But I know you have a solution. Yes, we absolutely <laughs> do. And the most important thing is that it's got to be weatherproof right. and last a long time, and it also has to be kids safe. And you have something for all of those, don't you? We sure okay. do. So where should we start in the backyard? Let's start with the pool toys. The ones all on the ground? Yes. <laughs> We've got a deck box that is perfect for it. And we can throw them in wet. Even if it's wet, because it is constructed to be waterproof and watertight. Okay. But moisture can escape out from the bottom so that you won't get any mold or water damage Smart. from the wet items. Okay, perfect. And because it is only made to look like wood, it will not rot, splinter, or deteriorate over time like wood does. So it, it still has that beautiful look, but it's functional as yes. well. Okay. Yes. One of the great features of this is that it's got stainless steel gas lifts in the lid, which allows for a very slow close, ah, so that when parents have their children putting away thing. toys, they don't have to worry about their fingers That's getting smart. crushed. That's smart, yeah, to get kids safe, okay. Yeah, and it's also very sleek and simple, and it's made to match any of the popular furniture finishings. All right, well, let's get these toys in the box. Great. Okay, so I love how all the pool toys are put away into one place, making them nice and neat. So I have to ask you now about pool supplies and garden supplies because 
they seem to take up more room than they really need to. Absolutely. We've got this outdoor rack, which is NSF certified for outdoor and wet environments. Okay. And it makes it much more corrosion resistant than our chrome and powder coated finishes. Perfect, because you want to leave it outdoors. Yes. Okay. Yes, and the shelves can be adjusted in one inch increments. Okay. And the assembly is so simple, it takes about 15 minutes and you don't need a single tool. I like that. Yes, it's great for everybody. <laughs> and this is a great feature, perfect place for your brew. Yes, if you want to be able to move your rack around, we've got casters that are easily installed. But if you want a stationary option, we have feet levelers that can be adjusted for uneven surfaces. Okay, perfect. So that way you have the option if you want to keep it stationary or not. Yes. I like it. Should we put all this stuff on? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Look at that. That looks so great. You know, the pool area actually looks bigger. We got everything off the ground. Yes. And look how much more room you have. You can still add a lot of stuff a on lot here. Of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about entertaining. I like it. All right, let's go. You know, summer in our household usually means poolside parties. So what you have here will be perfect for us. Let me tell you all about them. Okay. We've got our rolling kitchen cart here, mm -hmm. which has storage underneath, and the bamboo cutting board is removable. So you can think of it as a moving cutting board. Ah, I love that idea, especially next to the barbecue. That way you have a workspace. And you can easily go back and forth from your barbecue to your kitchen. I like it. And then we've got our stainless steel table, which adds workspace and counter space to your barbecue area. And it makes a beautiful cocktail table. It sure would. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. <laughs> and lastly, we've got our stainless steel cooler, which rolls, so it's perfect for going from the house yes. to the outside. It holds up to 48 cans, and the ice will stay cold for over 24 hours. It's also got a built-in bottle opener and a cap catcher, so you don't end up with caps all over your backyard. Very helpful. And there's a shelf on the bottom, so you can have all your refills right there. This is great if you host a party, because as a host, you're the one that's running back and forth getting supplies. Right. But this is great, because it holds everything. Yes, and you get to stay outside. I like that. And I know this is just a sample of all the great items that you have. Yes. Go to our website, trinityii.com, to find out more about all of our products, mm -hmm. and shop online there as well. All of our products are great value, they're eco-friendly, and they're really easy to assemble. They are, they're beautiful. And I, I've been to your website, I know you have a little link that says where to buy, which is great if you wanna buy somewhere local if you don't wanna buy online. That's right. Okay, well, thank you so much for getting our backyards entertaining ready for the summer. We really do appreciate it. Now I know on future visits, you're gonna come back. How about we organize a dorm room? And what about tackling the garage? That is asking a lot, but we're definitely up for the challenge. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, until next time. For more information about anything that you saw here today, please visit our website at designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us. Here's to a great day. There's more coming up right here on Designing Spaces, so don't go away. The housing market is going through some changes. More Americans are turning to rental properties to call home. The big difference, though, is we went from 69% home ownership in the United States, and now we're holding about 64% and still declining. An increasingly global workplace requires many people to relocate more frequently. The options renters have are broader than ever. Brand new homes are now available to lease for those who desire the ease and flexibility of renting. To help us learn more, we've invited American Residential President and co-founder, Lori Hawks. There was a great demand for alternative housing. That's why we started to do single-family rental homes. So we acquired the houses, refurbished the houses, and leased them to a real variety of American families. Renting a single-family home provides people who may have once been owners to get back into a house without the commitment, down payment, and hassles involved with purchasing a home. People, when we started, they were looking for a place to live because they'd been displaced by financial reasons. So you had foreclosure, short sale, bankruptcy. But we're also finding a lot of Americans who are choosing, millennials in particular, who have good credit scores and they're choosing to rent because they want the financial mobility. They want the ability to move when the jobs move. They want the ability to have someone come take care of the house as opposed to their own. 
and the fact that they don't have to have a down payment, they don't have to pay homeowners association fees, and they don't have to invest the money to keep the house maintained. That's our job. ARP has selectively found ideal neighborhoods where new houses are built to suit the demands of family living. Now it's possible to enjoy a brand new home and still have your flexibility. Well, renters today want to feel like they're part of a community. They want to feel a seamless connection to the neighborhoods, make sure they're near great schools, activities that their, their children can partake in, a safe community, and the concept of renting something new is a terrific alternative for them. The Atlanta, Georgia area is one part of the country where growth is occurring, and American Residential offers many distinctive home models with three, four, and five bedroom options for families looking to rent. Sue Hawks is the CEO of the Collaborative Companies, or TCC. They work with developers to help create their vision. Well, here in Atlanta, we were given plans. We looked at them and we decided that really they needed to be embellished for what today's homeowners were looking for. Starting with the design on the exterior, using brick, using stone, mixing up the materials gave it more interest and really makes people feel more excited when they drive down the street and they don't see every home looking the same. To determine what potential home renters would be looking for, TCC uses detailed market analysis. And working with developers ensures that attention to detail is carried out through every step of the process. The two-story space in the foyer gives you a sense of, of grandeur when you walk in. Continuing in through the kitchen, again, no walls, an open plan coupled with granite countertops, and changing the outdated appliances that were black or white to something stainless. Room off the space of the living room includes either a den or a dining room, depending on how formal you want to, you want to live. Attention to detail results in a best-in-class rental experience for a family leasing a new home. And certainly the opportunity to live in an environment for the first time is very compelling. Job relocation and general uncertainty about employment is commonplace these days. Questions in terms of how we select our neighborhoods really are threefold. We look for positive in migration in terms of population. We want to see a growing economy. We need to know that the jobs are there. We need to know that the growth of the economy is robust. American Residential is able to provide the option of living in a spacious home for any length of time to people whose jobs may require them to move out of state. We've relocated people within a state. We've also relocated them to other states. What it means is if you have a job and it requires you to move or relocate, if you owned a house and their house burden, they can't move. Here, we're able to accommodate that move with little trouble. Many families may not be able to come up with a down payment for a new home, or simply can't afford the commitments that go hand in hand with home ownership. ARP's brand new single family rental homes provide an easy, affordable, low commitment option. The reason renting works is that it allows you the flexibility to come into a home without having a sizable down payment. We are looking for people who in fact are really middle American families. Be sure to visit AmericanResidentialProperties.com to view the regions of the U.S. where homes are currently available and to get more information on single family home renting. It's the time of year to take action and discover we can better our living spaces to the benefit of everyone in the family. From pool care, to organizing, to finding the right place to live. We're here with the tips, suggestions, and solutions for you. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacestv. Or friend us on Facebook. Type in the word Designing Spaces. Connect with us on Pinterest to follow all of our design ideas and share yours with us. 
You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.